Ice cream lovers, welcome to this session of Scoop School. Nice to have you here. Uh, we are broadcasting from St. Louis, Missouri, well, a little bit west of St. Louis in our brand new ice cream and frozen dessert education and training facility. Now, if you watch the channel, you've more than likely had a bit of a tour, the pre-build out tour. Well, build out still continues, but we finished off our instruction room here. We had our first class here last week, 12 magnificent people from all over the United States, one from Mexico, and uh, it was awesome. So uh, we're kind of, again, slowly going through the, the building here, but um, we are open for business, open for consulting open for classes check out our class schedule at scoopschool.com this episode is sponsored by wiley wallaby licorice all sorts let me tell you if you've never tried wiley wallaby licorice all sorts at least give them a go they are now you may not be into licorice but they are probably some of the most delicious juxtaposition between sweetness and licorice there is. You should be able to find it at your local retailer. Wiley Wallaby Licorice All Sorts. I'm just kidding, it's not sponsored by Wiley Wallaby, but it is sponsored by a Wiley character, and that is Rod Oranger and the crew at iRice. Uh, iRiceCo.com, the link is down below. They manufacture bases, they manufacture toppings, they manufacture uh, crunch to put on top water ice products. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, Rod uh, or Nicole are the key points there. But you can just click on the link down below, irice.co, and uh, thank you for your episode sponsorship. Okay, great viewer question. Love our viewer questions. Leave a comment down below. We always try and kind of go through them first because we want to answer your questions. Question from uh, Nightwolf1974. Oh, which way are we going? Which way are we going? Up here. Shing. A Nightwolf1974 asks, as you can read, planning on getting into the soft serve ice cream next year for farmers markets and small events. Nice. Plan to offer the standard three flavors, chocolate, vanilla, and the twist, yes, along with Dole Whip for non-dairy diets. Nice. What is the best advice that you can give to someone getting started doing this? Well, I'm glad you asked Nightwolf1974. Oh, <laughs> Look, it's a little bit easier doing premium ice cream because you can actually scoop it or pre-package it uh, either at a commissary kitchen or actually on the food truck. We just did a video on ice cream on food trucks. But let me tell you, soft serve's making a comeback. Soft serve is becoming very, very popular again. It always was popular, but it wasn't seen as the most gourmet options. Well now, soft serve is basically popping up in restaurants, cafes, coffee shops, in the non-traditional applications, which is great to see. Trouble with doing farmer's markets is soft serve machines and the ones you are talking about require a certain amount of power. Now, at a soft serve or at a market, you could probably get away with a countertop soft serve machine. There are full size floor model uh, soft serve machines. Then there's countertop soft serve machines and they have less capacity. But again, you might be doing a market or an event that uh, only has the morning or the afternoon afternoon or whatever, and you might be able to get away with just two uh, three handle or a twin twist countertop soft serve machines. Now the challenge is, I think you'll be very busy, they often are, but you're gonna need power. And when you do a market like that or these events, a lot of times a farmer's market will have a power source to your area or to your tent or to your location. But that power source typically is only a standard 15 amp plug and that's not gonna be enough to run your soft serve machine. Even the smaller soft serve machines uh, need a 20 amp circuit. So the challenge is you've gotta find A, a vehicle or some kind of mechanism to get those pieces of equipment to your location, then you've got to provide power for them. Typically, you're not going to get that power from the uh, market location. So you must have some sort of generator, something like that. I'm not the best person to speak to on generators, but you can go to a whole bunch of Facebook groups uh, for food truck operators, and that they are all over the uh, recommendations for the generator process. That being said, once you've got that set up, really the beauty of soft serve is that you can actually 
make it there on spot. It's ready to use or ready to eat when it comes out of the machine. Uh, there's a lot of great options to it. And I think it would be very popular, particularly if you're doing the standard dairy vanilla chocolate with a twist. And in your second unit, you may want to look at a, uh, a non-dairy like a Dole product uh, and perhaps a low fat or a no fat frozen yogurt because the two of them together actually make a nice twist. So let's say you did a, a pineapple doll product with a vanilla frozen yogurt. Both of them are good in and of themselves when you twist them together, ah, oh, fantastic. So first problem, getting the equipment there, uh, whether you have a food truck or a trailer. Uh, second is the power, and then the third is actually keeping your mix cool. You'll find in some market scenarios that they want you to actually have constant refrigeration. It's not enough to just pull a cooler up with your mix in. So you may have to have some other form of electrical process. So I guess what I'm leaning to is that I think that there can be very good business out of soft serve, but there's a lot of infrastructure that goes into the process of putting that into place. In any case, be happy to share some more information uh, with you if you reach out. Uh, you can actually uh, reserve a 15 minute free time slot to talk to me about your specific business plans. Get some advice, love to hear from all of our viewers. So, it can be done, a little bit of work, a little bit of expense, a little bit more work than actually taking just pre-scooped ice cream to an event, but I think it's very, very popular. As soon as you get someone walking around with a cone of soft serve, a lot of people say, oh, so let's say I'm that person walking around with a cone of soft serve. Oh, where did you get that? Oh, there's a guy down the road here selling, well, he does vanilla chocolate with a twist and he's got pineapple, I don't know why I'm looking at you, pineapple um, and yogurt with a twist as well. Oh, I'm gonna go and get some. That was probably the worst interaction we've ever done, but you get the idea. Again, thank you to our episode sponsor, uh, iRice. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, Leave a comment down below. We love to hear from our viewers. Uh, also, while you're down there, subscribe, like, all the main stuff. Keep on scooping. See you in the next video.